Okay, so FIFA, you've joined us again. So what we're looking at now, because we have this power play, so abusers are trying to exert power over their victims. In your experience, what sort of things do you notice when someone is likely to become an abuser? Okay, um, I think the first thing you would notice in such people is they tend to be um, domineering. They tend to exercise power over their victims. Like they, they just want to be in control of everything. They want to, they want to exercise power over them and make them feel like, okay, without me, you can't do anything. Okay, I have, I have um, an authority over you, and I am going to make you do this. And most times, when when such a thing happens, it's because such people are under them. Like probably. Okay, from my own experience, when I was young, I was I was sexually abused. So I was yeah, so those times I, I was vulnerable and it was it was my mom leaving me in the hands of of um our landlord's son then. So him exercising power over me and making me feel like okay, I have no other place to run to since I I was it was meant to look over me. So he was the one pressurizing and making himself feel like, okay, he's the boss over me. And such, most times then I, I lived in fear and felt like, okay, this, this is actually the end of it. No self-esteem and all that. So the first thing you should look out is the person making himself feel like, okay, I, you have no other place to run to. Pride. And most times, Sometimes, although it depends on the kind of abuse, but sometimes it might actually make you feel like, okay, you can move closer to me. And by the time you got you get closer to the person, you just notice that, okay, this was actually a deceit. Moving closer to the person and making yourself feel vulnerable by the person, later harming you. So I think that's just part of the behaviors you have to notice from those that are ready to abuse you. I'm so sorry for your experience and, and thank you for thank sharing you, that with us. Um, it's uh, it will, obviously uh, you're going to be able to add a, add a great deal to the conversation. So <clears throat> what we have then is that we have a very severe power imbalance. Now, I was speaking to Shivani before the rest of you joined the call about the situation for women in India, but clearly in Africa, it is the same or possibly worse. Uh, Joseph, speak to the, that, that kind of sexual abuse that goes on. What, what, what can someone watching this video start to raise a flag if a person is behaving a certain way, get away from them. How can they do that? Well, like FIFA said, the first obvious sign is the domineering personality. You have somebody who uses words like you have to, you must, I decide. This is what I want. So you have a lot of pronouns in the word I. So that's the first obvious sign of somebody who is A, not willing to see your side of the story, and B, doesn't really pay any mind to caring enough to see your side of the story. And she also mentioned some subtle signs as well. There was an issue that came up that it, it's unfortunate because she was already married to him. While they were dating and for her privacy reasons, I won't mention her name. While they were dating, she noticed how he treated people who, I guess you could say, could, didn't have any benefit to him. How he treated waiters, how he treated messengers, how he treated the women, how he treated some people who, society-wise, they don't really add anything to your path in life. They just kind of hang around there. And so she noticed that he was always very abusive, very aggressive towards them, but he was sweet to her. Mm -hmm. And so she just felt, well, eh, it's probably just because he doesn't care about those people. But when you then get into those, the person realizes that he has you, 